Hi, it's Andy from SBS. I'm on the pontoons at the Southampton Boat Show. Uh, it has been another busy day and usually you're chained to the stand, but um, I've taken half an hour out of the day to go around and see some of our favourite boats and favourite customers. Hi Andy, hey, nice to see you at the boat show. Um, a few weeks ago we came down to the factory and I bought a big trailer down. Is, was the trailer for this boat because it, it wasn't finished or there was something in build? Um, yes, they were just modifying the boat for the customer. Right. And the customer wanted a trailer as they will be moving their boat from here to the Mediterranean for different series. Okay. And so they wanted um, a heavy duty trailer. Um, the, these boats protectors are solidly built. Because these and, are chase boats, aren't they? Or they use them for chase boats? That's right. They're used for the America's Cup and Sail GP. Yeah. Um, each boat has to do over 50 knots, <laughs> chasing the foiling. <laughs> Chasing which, the foilers now. Which is for other people, is what, about, about 60 miles an hour? Yeah, that's about 60 miles oh an hour. Oh my God, which is but like each warp does speed, that, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So they, they're used in the um, racing world for media, for um, tech boats, support boats, um, and it's either Protector or a Scorpion they use, and we represent both of these um, uh, brands. Oh my God, and these are just built to just insane. They are absolutely aren't solid. They? They're built in New Zealand, and we yeah. now. Ancaster, we're the um, official representation in Europe for this brand now. Oh, cheers, so Andy. they're available. That's amazing. Okay, thanks Lovely to do business cheers with you. It, thanks. I'm with Ryan from Ideal Boat. <laughs> and we've done, we've done a number of um, launches um, for the 320, but I haven't actually seen, I've well, been on it, I've seen it of course, but I haven't been on it. And Ryan's very kindly offered to show me about. Oh, sorry, <laughs> kindly show me about. Come on. He's going to sit on it, isn't he? Come on, boy, then. Oh my God! Wow. This drop style makes a nice big sun pad on the back. Yeah. And this though. <laughs> That's pretty cool, isn't it? Smart. Oh, mate. That's a door, isn't it? That's a door, yeah, proper. So what engines is this? I mean, it'll come with Twin 225, smallest two, two, option. Five. Yeah? Smallest twin, twin engine option, but single three and because are And because we've just come over from Protector and Scorpion, who are chase boats, well, they, they've got quite fantastic speeds. Yeah, not, not a cabin. No, boat, this, but. this will still do, you know, 60 mile an hour with a twin 300. <laughs> it shifts well, it really does. Goodness me, that's beautiful. These, these little boats are fantastic. When, when, when they first came out, there was a bit of a wow about them because uh, they, they look very different. And it was almost just like, um, like a big boy's jet ski almost. You know, they, they had a, a, like a central jockey seat. I think this is a lot better arrangement, proper seats. But they just look, you know, just look like a whole lot of fun. You know, fantastic. So we've just done a trailer for this. So this is Ben at RBS Marine with the two Regency 250 pontoon boat, which I, I don't know about the first in the UK, but um, I, I've, I haven't seen one in the UK before. But um, yeah, very popular in the States because you can see you can get about 50 people on board as the ultimate party boat. So it's just immense. I mean, uh, you gotta say that's fantastic. This is, I was expecting like a little 25 on the back or exactly, something. Yeah. So no. you see a 300. So that's the 300. They will go as big as the 400 on here. Oh, no. And that's the biggest <laughs> thing you have on there, which is just ludicrous. Yeah, because you came, right? You, you didn't trail it round. No, I motored it round, yeah. 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 And what did you say? You got so 30 knots out of it. 36 and a half knots. Um, <laughs> we, well, <laughs> whilst reclining. Honestly, it was like lying gun. in your armchair, just yeah. going to work. So it's, it's absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. And, and But it turns like a jet ski. You can do a full lock at 36 knots and it just changes direction. Oh, man. It's a very different way of boating. Is that no, locker. Yeah, it's a locker, yeah. yeah. So these all have <clears throat> loads of storage, all line oh, lockers wow, in yeah. there. Yeah. Even all in here, they've got a patented <coughs> sto um, store more or store stowaway more, I think it's they call it. Oh, right, crikey. So <laughs> in all there, yeah. all the way around. Um, drinks holders all the way, they're all illuminated. They've got charge points on them as well. 
Um, stowage down there for your skis. Obviously, you can ski behind this. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Yeah. <laughs> Look. Oh, ski Look this in here. <laughs> oh my God, Ben, that's <laughs> just nuts, isn't it? I can imagine ski behind here. Oh, it's brilliant. Uh, I've got to get some your closest friends and family watching you. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. bear in mind, this is like 25 foot and it has capacity for 14 people. So this because it just uses every inch of space, you yeah. know, it's um, not like a conven conventional hull where you've it starts narrowing from here and forward. It's it's yeah, a whole it's thing. So yeah, it just makes me laugh. And also, it has a changing room as well. <laughs> so this, so this folds up. <laughs> then this comes up <laughs> like that. Oh my gosh! Yeah, that. Um, yeah, again. And then that you. comes out. And then there's like a canvas a cover that goes, that goes around, around it. Yeah. So you've got a little changing room in there as well. <laughs> They've kind of thought of it all. Really. You say that was a toilet then? Yeah, well, you could put a portaloo in there if you wanted to. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Newspaper out. <laughs> For a bit of alfresco. <laughs> That's uh, it. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> but yeah, like you say, just everywhere. All storage in, in all of this here. In there. Well, yeah, it just keeps on going, doesn't it? Yeah. And trailable. And trailable, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, hi, my name is Ross from Marine Bay UK and uh, we're here at the Sea Race Stand with Andy from SBS Trailers. Hi Andy. Hi. Uh, we've got three uh, boats debuting this year at the, uh, on the stand. We've got uh, the stunning 260 SLX here. We've got the uh, 210 SPX. And just the other side of our uh, Sundancer over here, we've got a 290 SDX. Wow. So but I thought I'd... Uh, we're going to struggle to get the 290 on a trailer. You are. I think it might not fit. But despite... But this one we, 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 we can just squeeze this yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So we can just squeeze this one. But we definitely... That's, we've done loads of trailers for those. So you have. That, 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 yeah. That's, that's great. But oh. uh, the, uh, the 26 is 27 foot. And uh, like you said, Andy, would fit on a trailer nicely. Oh, but it's low. Come here, Ross. Oh, shall I do it with fit? <laughs> remember we the, stood up together. Just remember the old days. Just yeah? remember the old days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when we could both fit on it. Oh, yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> but not anymore. We try to say it's my good side. It does put a pound or two on a camera. Doesn't it? Yeah. It's, especially the wide angle lens. So does the steak. Watch so does the steak dinner. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but this is... Um, this is fabulous. Oh, the eyes are going... It, it, it's, she's stunning, isn't she? Yeah, it is. It's, uh, it's a new styling coming out of the factory. It's the, uh, from America. We do a lot of boats from within Europe. And uh, it's a bit, I mean, it's a bit old hat to say Bentley stitching, but it's not. It's, but it's that sort of styling. Yeah, yeah and the detail in the cushions and the, the various plies that they put into the seats just to get you that nice yeah. bit of comfort. We've got power tower on here. We've extended the back section uh, as well. We're back to the original curved screens that we've had on some of the early C-Rays back in the 90s. The double Simrad screen. Double Simrad screen. The one on the left will actually do many of the features within the boat. So whether it be lighting, whether it be the tower control of the tower, uh, it, it controls most of the features within the boat. And all fully customizable. Yeah, it, it can be, yeah, you can exactly tweak it to how you want it. Yeah. Uh, on the right hand side, it's uh, the engine data, it'll give you the length speed, uh, the, the depth, sorry, and, uh, and the cartography from within Seamap or Navionics. The well, cartography. I know, that's, that's that does sound good. Come you can stick it. a map in it, sir, and it does. Rather than having a pen around a sea ray for a, a <laughs> lesson. <laughs> Yeah. Oh mate, no, it, uh, is, it is gorgeous, isn't it? So it's lovely. You can see, yeah, it's 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 a nice boat, a very nice boat. But you do so, you, you do so much. I mean, how many boats do you make in a year? These things must take. So probably about ten. As many ten as boats, that. if we're lucky, across the range. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. we've got the super yacht tender side, the side you don't see. We've got 120 people making boats, wow. and then. Um, yeah, so we try and put out. I about think of you like, these, I think of you like the best kept secret. The sort of, yeah. It's this niche. I mean, it's you. What are you talking? This is if you were to walk away, if you were to give us cash money for that as it is now, yeah. you're looking about eight hundred grand. That's with the map, with yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. So it's there's other thirty five foot motorboats here that are probably half that. Oh, yeah, so but, you, so yeah. Some people have to walk past a lot of boats before they come to us, but if they know they want this sort of thing, yeah, they've got nowhere else which to is go. Hand, well, they're all handmade, but you know, um, ten thousand hours worth of build time going into one of those, then there's very few places you can get them. Welcome to the Yammering Stand. Here we have on display our new ATDC, which is a new model, and it's the only one in the UK. Uh, and we will be partnering it with an SBS uh, trailer from Andy, 
Here we are, Andy. Nice Good to man. see you, mate. How, How are, are you? Good. Looking very nice. This is you? this is the new AT. If you'd like to come on and have a look around, and I'll show you some of the some of the features. Okay, so starting off, obviously we've got a nice open uh, layout here. Uh, all of the uh, chairs spin around. There is an infill cushion that drops down here. This goes back to this and yeah, back. quite right. Yeah, and you've got the uh, the sunbed area there. Um, Twin. Where does, where does Ray keep the booze? Ray keeps the booze in the fridge, which is just here. Oh yes. Oh and look. Oh, there's, there's plenty of booze in there for us later on, Andy. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised there's any left. Are you living flame fire? No. Yeah. So if it's cold, you know, and you want to warm yourself up by the fire, you can obviously do that on this new model. These are the 16-inch uh, Yammerin Q screens um, from from Yammerin. Um, I think they really do set off, you know, the dash there. So we've got a bow thruster, windless anchor, um, trim tabs, transom lighting. It's fully spec. Fully spec. So what sort of weight is this? Uh, this on the trailer is around about three ton. Three ton. So it's, um, it's one of the bigger trailers. It's one of the bigger trailers uh, that you've that you've made for us, mate. And I must say, sat on top of one of those trailers, it does look fantastic. Oh, and here at the boat shop. We only use SBS trailers. Uh, Andy, we've known for a very long time, gives us fantastic help and support, and the product is fantastic. And best of all, it's made in Britain. Shit, cut. <laughs>